Please prepare for our national pledge. First, take off your flannel. Next, take off your left shoe and balance it on your head. Now your right hand to your nose. And now we can begin. I pledge alliance to a nation divided by choice for which it stands, eat our edible grass, bless New Haven. Thank you. This is our national anthem. <laughs> This is the official flag of New Haven. The white in the flag represents peace. The red represents relative power. The tree in the center shows and represents our growth, growing nation, and still growing nation. The river represents our flowing economy. The mountains represent our, our nation's ever-growing prosperity and how our nation reaches our goal till we're at the very top. And last, the large grass area at the bottom represents our delicious edible grass. This is a map of New Haven. As you can see here, there are many things to look at. First of all, we have our cities. Right here in its own zone, the capital. This is where all of our political meetings are held, such as voting and elections. As you can see, these dots on the map represent cities. The bigger the dot, the bigger the city. And moving on, we have the rivers, which are located on the western part of our map. These rivers are important for economical growth. Also, to help along with our economy, we have lots of bays along pretty much everywhere on the map. Moving on, we have zones on the map. These zones are split by natural resources and geography. Here we have a mountain zone that's mainly used for iron and copper mining, along with the southern zone here, but it's more foresty for lumber camps. Over here is our main agricultural zones. Hello, welcome to our country, New Haven. Our number one rule in here is safety. This is a park, and as you can tell, there's a golf course, and everybody's enjoying their time. Uh, our main policy here is trying to keep everybody safe. Nobody can get hurt here. Uh, and we watch over all of our citizens, and we make sure that if they do, if anybody does anything bad, we take care of it. As you can tell right here, the prime example of a nice citizen enjoying his day. And uh, looks like he's trying to catch butterflies or something. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Okay. Hi! Oh, there he is. And uh, he's really enjoying his time here. I can tell it's a nice day. And, uh, you know, it really looks good. Uh, now, oh, oh, now, now, hey, hey! Now, look, I, <sighs> right, I think we got away. This time I brought some security. Now, today we're going to talk more about the economic standpoint, and this is about like an average house in our uh, country. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two bath, and it, it, you know, we try to get as many people as possible in our country to have a home. It goes back to our motto about safety, and you know, that's our biggest, oh god, not these guys again. Security, oh, security! Oh. Welcome. This is our zone four of our prosperous country. Zone 4 focuses mainly on edibles, such as this grass here, our world famous sugar grass. You can just pick it up and eat it. And over here, we have two very, very nice citizens testing out our grass for us, just to make sure it's high quality. Tell us how it is, guys. Yeah. Excellent. See, Zone 4, or at least where we are right now, borders Zone of the country, our more hilly zone of the country, if you will, and it focuses more on uh, livestock and uh, pastures. And uh, we have a fence here because we don't want people coming over here and stealing our grass, so we have to separate it because the animals want it, I mean, people want it. If you want to go to look at our cattle zone of the island, we have some volunteers come over here to show you the way. a very unique way of getting through these things. Um, it's just to ensure safety so that no armies or small battalions can actually get through and harm us. So here they are, getting through the zones. Give them a moment. 
Come on. Look how much fun they're having over there. There's no livestock right now because it's actually out of season. I know what you're thinking. Cows out of season? Well, our our cattle are actually more plant than animal. It's it's more uh it lowers cholesterol and blood sugar. It keeps you healthy. So here in New Haven, we try to give the best quality to our people, just like this public restroom. Here you see we have a nice woman's baby, restroom. Baby, 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 baby. Oh. It's Justin Selena! Oh my gosh! This is Come on out guys, what are you guys doing in the bathroom? Oh yeah, just having a good time, you know, playing Actually, around, you know, us kids. Oh my gosh, I'm starstruck. I know me too, I'm 19 and when I'm a, I'm an artist. Hi Selena. Hi, I'm Selena Gomez. Oh wow, uh so how are you liking your time in New Haven so far? I Oh, you go first. I mean, we're just visiting, you know. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for your time. Have a nice day. Wait, I want to talk to you more. <laughs> no, get away. Here in New Haven, we're home of very several talented athletes. Here we actually breed athletes to excel in all competitions to represent our country well. Like baseball. <laughs> Soccer. Удар, гол! 1-1! 1-1! Балателли сравнивает счет, и теперь Милан просто обязан навалиться на соперника и постараться вырвать три очка в этом матче. Баскетбол. Real. This is for you, Kobe. I'm only gonna do this once. Come on, Mr. Bay. Ah! Ah! And just simply all athletic sports. The <laughs> IF World Championships of Athletics here in Berlin 2009. Chambers, Burns, Bailey, Bolt, Powell, Patton, and Thompson. Alright, so there's uh, overall there's tw 27 elected members of our uh, nation's governing pretty much. Uh, we have 24 members of Congress and three presidential figures. These three presidential figures are elected every three years by the actual Congress. So they cannot be an actual part of this before they transfer on. And then, there are two primary by secret laws. Either the people can sign a petition and then send it to the House of Presidents, or the Presidents can come up with a bill of their own. Either way, the bill will go on to Congress, who then can either have to reach a majority decision to either pass or reject the bill. Or if it's a tie, then it'll be sent back to the presidents. You can either veto the bill entirely or revise the bill in order to send it back to Congress. Thank you for taking a quick look into our government. Alright, so it's day 30. We're waiting for Plankton and his army to attack. I'm just sitting out here waiting. So hopefully they come to the shores. Formula or I'll destroy the Krusty Krab! Ah, you and what army, bug? <laughs> what army? What army? Look around you, crabs! You planted grass? Grass? <laughs> I think I spotted him. I think we won. Oh, wait, what's that? 